Hey there and welcome to the Trap Caboose. Today I'm going to show you how to make the probably crispiest pork belly that you've ever eaten in your entire life. You have to get yourself one beautiful piece of pork belly, one sharp razor blade just unpacked. And with that, we're going to start scoring that skin of this beautiful pork belly. As you can see, I'm cutting diagonally into the skin, just maybe about 5 millimeters deep. And every centimeter I'm starting a new cut, just until you have finished the cuts in this direction. And the rest in fast forward, I'm not going to bother you. And you're going to guess what's up now. Right, the other direction, the other direction, the other direction, the other direction. Well now, finished with scoring the skin. We take a pan and prepare a hot salt water bath. We add a huge amount of salt to the water, stir it to dissolve, and then bring it to the boil. And once it's boiling, we're going to take our pork belly, lay it skin side down into the water, cover it with a lid, and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And once you've removed it from the pan and turned it around, it should look like this. Pretty disgusting. But nevertheless, we're not done yet. We'll put it in our preheated oven at about 160 degrees Celsius, which is something between 320 and 350 degrees Fahrenheit, for about 90 minutes. And after that time, we're going to check it, and you just see the caramelized juices on the outside. But the skin doesn't look crispy yet. So we're going to put it back, add a little water, and let it crispen up for another half an hour. And after that, it will just look like this. Popped, crackling on the outside and caramelized all over the sides. And as you saw earlier, I put some onions and apples into the bottom of the baking tray that also caramelized and give you that nice brown color. And also a really deep flavor for your sauce. I'm going to show you that one in another video. But the most important part comes now, that pork belly has to deliver. Now, it's crunchy, but actually on this video I failed big time, because I forgot to turn on the microphone of my camera. So I have to imitate that sound, and listen to this. Well, it actually sounds like this. You will experience this if you try this one and maybe you check out my other videos I hope you enjoyed this porky experience and maybe see you next time bye